Hi, I'm Jeremy from Dust Core Tools. Here to show you our dust extractor. We'll use this attachment for cutting pavers in place. If you're installing paver patios, the most efficient way of cutting the border is by laying your pavers past, marking that edge, and then cutting the pavers in place while lying on the ground. So I want to add, cut the whole way through. Uh, we have a bracket installed on here that mates to the bracket on either your steel or Husqvarna saw. We run Husqvarna in our installation business. We have four of them, very popular saw, along with the steel. Drop the saw on, slide it past through to connect the attachment. As you can see, this is angled a bit, gets the hose up off the ground a little bit and off to the side, allows you to get to a little tighter corners by doing that. I am a right handed guy, so for me, it works best to cut like this. It feels way backwards to cut the opposite direction. If you want this takeoff welded on in the opposite direction, angle to the right instead of the left, we can certainly do that. Just ask for that option. While I'm cutting in place, I will have the hose behind me, and I'm staying in front of that hose, following that line ready made, and just following that around. Uh, currently, we have a 14 inch blade on this saw. There's a set of holes here. I usually have the bracket folded on in the first set of holes with a 14 inch blade. If you're running a 12 inch blade, you may find you move it back one set of holes to catch your dust effectively. A 12 inch blade does make it easier to cut a radius. Personally, I myself prefer a 14 inch blade. I just think it's easier. I'll make one or more passes to get through the paper the whole way. So if you're cutting paper exactly the same way as you would any other time. You know, if you're doing a radius, you have to angle it, maybe make more one cut. Adding an attachment really makes a difference to that scenario. I've asked sometimes, is it heavy? Does add some weight? That is true. Uh, it's sliding on the ground. There are poly wear plates on the bottom that do not mark your pavers. You're really not carrying the weight around. It's actually pretty easy because all that weight is resting on the ground. You're just directing the saw as you follow a cut drill. Can you use it to cut other materials? Yes, you can. Uh, I don't suggest for wall block. It's really not very effective at capturing the dust through, a, say, a six inch block. A three inch block would probably be fine. If you're marking border pavers, you need to miter them. You need to miter the ends. If you want to pay time, you have a cutting station set up and you have your paver you're cutting sit on top of that, hang out of the edge. You can use this attachment rather than switching to a shark. If you look, as I lift this up, there's a paper underneath there. It's pretty easy to cut that paper and get the dust directed into this opening. Particularly if you're using a cutting slab, the like it's 13 inches or even deeper. Using a shark is not as effective as you can't cut the whole way through that paver without the attachment dragging on top. This is a great way to cut pavers in place or to cut large slabs singly. This is a great solution for you to control your silica dust on your hardscape installation projects.